friends welcome to with the maths classes today we are doing class 12 mathematics ncert exam law chapter 8 that is application of integrals and this is your example 5 find the area enclosed by the curve x is equals to 3 cos t and y is equals to 2 sin t now you can observe to find the area enclosed by this curve we can observe that this curve is an parametric curve with parameter t now to eliminate this parameter t we can first find out the value of cos t that is x by 3 and then find out the value of sin t here that is y by 2 now we know that cos square t plus sin square t will always be equals to 1 so x square by 3 square plus y square by 2 square is equals to 1 and this is your required curve now this curve represents an ellipse with major axis 3 semi major axis 3 units and semi minor axis 2 units so this is a horizontal ellipse with vertex 0 0 semi major axis is 3 units semi minor axis is 2 units okay and this is your curve x square by 3 square plus y square by 2 square is equals to 1 now we know that this figure is symmetrical about x axis and symmetrical about y axis also so the bounded area can be the area of bounded curve can be written as four, four times the area of shaded region so the so area of bounded region will be equals to four times the area of shaded region now the for the area of shaded region we can put the limits of uh, from limits of x from 0 to 3 you are going to find the value of, you are going to integrate y and y will come from this curve so what is y let us find out y y square by 4 is equals to 1 so y square by 4 is equals to 1 minus x square by 9 so y will be square root of or we can say that this will be 2 by 3 square root of 9 minus x square that is 3 square minus x square so we can write it here substitute the value of y between 0 to 3 you are going to integrate root of 3 ka square minus x square dx now using uh integral 1 upon or integral square root of a square minus x square dx is equals to x by 2 square root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by now we can use this formula here and using this formula you uh, your integral will become x by 2 square root of 9 minus x square plus a square is 9 so 9 by 2 sin inverse x by 3 now you are going to substitute your limits from 0 to 3 so by substituting your limits it will become 8 by 3 first of all you are going to substitute 3 here 9 minus 3 ka square this this term will become 0 and here 9 upon 2 sin inverse 3 by 3 is 1 sin inverse 1 will be pi by 2 so 9 na 9 pi by 4 this is 9 pi by 4 minus if you are going to put x is equals to 0 here so this term will become 0 and this term sin inverse 0 is also 0 so this term will also become 0 
so your answer will be only this much and this is 6 pi square units 